गुड इवनिंग वी आर इंडीड ऑनर एंड प्लेजर टू हैव यू विद आस एंड टी वी एशिया आज हमारे साथ में है हमारा सौभाग्य अजीत जी थेलंग वी वेलकम यू एज वी नो इन टूडेज टाइम वे आर सो मच ऑफ स्ट्रेस विच इज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट्स बीन क्रिएटेड बाई आस टू बी ऑनेस्ट लाइक इन टूडेज टाइम वी आर लूजिंग द बैलेंस ऑफ साइंस एंड स्परिचुअलिटी द स्परिचुअलिटी इज मिसिंग इफ आई कैन कीप इट लाइक यू नो टॉकिंग टू यू वाई इट इज नीडिड बिकॉज so much of pressure not only here anywhere i think globally we are seeing it but yeah. some countries we do see in europe they are very well balanced so somewhere i think i would like to start with the quote of dr abdul kalam mm -hmm. the ex president of india mm -hmm. and more known as a scientist of the uh, a great level mm -hmm. he in uh, his book the wings of fire he said that any technological development without the foundation of the spirituality is going to be fatal for the humanity mm -hmm. i think those words are so true mm -hmm. no somewhere we have lost the base of the spirituality somewhere we have lost the base with our own self our own nature and we have become so artificial mm -hmm. no when I, whenever i look into the artificial intelligence and the development and all the stuff so i always wonder what about the natural intelligence somewhere we are going away from our own uh, uh, pure and uh, uh, pious nature mm -hmm. and uh, i think the stress is something what we have created when we are unnaturally become stressful mm -hmm. you know there are enough evidences to prove that the moment you become unnatural Uh, you need to uh, put a lot of mask on you and 50% of the time you are wearing the mask and 50% you are trying to manage the mask mm -hmm. so when are we going to leave so somewhere that could be a basic cause of stress you know and i've been uh, teaching spirituality for almost 22 years now right from 1997 and uh, one thing i've seen i've seen some transformations you know from the the guy uh, taking about 18 tablets of depressions every day and the moment he starts walking in this path today i think that guy is absolutely free from everything within a span of one year mm -hmm. so somewhere we need to understand that uh, i think we have made life very complicated yes. and uh, why not we make it so simple life mind has to rule over the body not the body should be ruled over the mind to be honest like this is that uh, yeah. when you're saying the transformation yeah, yeah. because that is like he said that the mind see basically uh, i would like to quote the first sentence of the gita धर्मक्षेत्रे कुरुक्षेत्रे समावेता योत्सव नॉट मेनी पीपल हैव पॉसिबली गॉन इन टू द इसेंस ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट धर्मक्षेत्र इज बेसिकली योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड नो वे द वैल्यूज द गेम ऑफ वैल्यूज एंड कुरुक्षेत्र इज बेसिकली योर कॉन्शियस माइंड नाउ द सिंपल क्वेश्चन दैट धृतराष्ट्र इज आस्किंग संजय एज अ थेरापी पॉसिबली इज इज माई सबकॉन्शियस माइंड एंड कॉन्शियस माइंड आर समावेता समावेता मीन्स दे आर कॉन्जॉइंट विद ईच अदर और आर दे योत्सव दैट मीन्स आर कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग विद ईच अदर i think that should answer a lot of questions you know the first sentence of gita itself is so profound and uh, so essential for us to understand you know somewhere the conflict is between what you believe and what you do a conflict between what is your inner nature and what is your outer activities and the behavior and all these conflicts are within us you know i always believe that the stress doesn't come from the sky it doesn't come from the earth either it comes from your heart and my heart if you can manage my heart and you can manage your heart i think we have a lovely place the heaven will come on this earth as 125 years ago swami vivekananda did mention about this role of spirituality east has to give it to the west and the sciences west has to give it to the east but when we seeing it we had so much of rich heritage when we come from bharat india like you know but even then when we go back there people are still means not taking means what we own it like you know because that was ours like you know taking a pride in it and running after the western values and westerns are running towards the east because they have already seen so much so what do we see as in future no, basically when i look at the indian culture uh, not being indian necessarily but i'm talking about indian culture even if i look uh, from a distant and i feel it is paripurna it is complete it is holistic and uh, just about uh, last uh, 14 20 days ago I had one uh, lecture in MS University in Baroda which is one of the profound universities in the country in front of scientists and all and uh, what I uh, really pronunciated there is we don't have to prove anything to the western world for the simple reason the science need to be redefined science means in indian language vidyan where we means uh, sukshma or something which is not known adnyata and the knowledge of what is not known is science that's why if you look at that i mean unfortunately as an indian you know we are unfortunately uh, going from a very uh, platform of weakness we should be on the platform of strength because the basic two laws 
of science like law of gravitation and law of specific gravity on which the entire western science actually got developed other primitive laws there are laws related to the earth and the water and the indian scientists the rishi and munis of the earlier times were never excited by the earth and the water because that is where we stay on we knew that and the whole idea is knowing something which is not known what was not known was agni fire what was not known was vayu what was not known is akasha the space so if you look at the vedas the first word is agni mere purohitam the veda started with agni because agni is the first one which goes against the gravitation you know what actually happens when we talk of gravitation we talk of the falling fruit on newton okay indian mahamrityunjay mantra if you look at that it talks of urvaru kamiva bandhanat what means is urvar it means the cucumber mm-hmm. now what the mantra says is when the cucumber is fully ripe mm-hmm. then it just fall off without giving pain to the tree and without giving pain to itself right it falls into itself so indian uh, whole philosophy was basically targeted towards the fulfillment not towards gravitation mm-hmm. it is not the uh, prerogative of the earth to draw the uh, fruit fruit down the fruit cannot fall down unless the fruit is ripe and the ripened fruit falling down is is a celebration yeah. and that's the way you like so it. our uh, ancient scientists were never excited by the phenomenon of the earth mm-hmm. but they were excited by the ripeness the fulfillment the completion of the life and from there onwards we started talking about the agni and we started talking of the vayu and we always looked at something which was not known to the human beings unfortunately i think during that british period probably 400 years rule what happened is they thumped on us this particular idea that that was the science and ours was not mm-hmm. you know somewhere you look at this our science is so beautiful and i was just discussing with a lot of people in a lot of forums now when we talk of mantras what actually we do we are actually churning our subconscious mind the way we till the soil and 95% of the life is belonging in the sub sub subconscious world and most of the time i have been seeing what i was just talking to you sometimes ago that if the subconscious mind is continuous let's a gymnasium for the subconscious mind you know you need some kind of exercise so mantras the exercise they make your mental muscles stronger i think we are more concerned about the physical muscles somewhere we need to go into what actually drives the body it is the mind which drives the body are you getting this point and somewhere if you look at that uh, i have been trying to work on this people who are chanting mantras visiting their past and coming back all the time the, the, i mean toggling between or the transacting between the conscious and the subconscious mind never have a problem at the old age they never have a dementia they never have the alzheimer now this is something which you're working on today yeah. and and this science is not kept separately indian uh, scientists never said that oh this is a science and this is not a science because everything is taken as a science mm-hmm. and that kind of philosophy that kind of uh, opinions and that kind of uh, thought process is lost mm-hmm. because we came under the heavy influence of the western world mm-hmm. and somewhere the western world started uh, putting on us and uh, with a lot of pressure that yeah. uh, this is a truth and yours is not yeah. you know and probably i think the story of macaulay is uh, very very true and the macaulay talked about in 2nd february 1835 in the british parliament saying that all that he did was crack the indian spine yeah. and the confidence within their own culture so some way i think we need to look at uh, the whole thing all over again redefine life redefine science redefine arts you know and redefine life in overall thank uh, you so much for sharing my pleasure too thank you very much thanks a lot